In today's video, I'm going to talk to you about automating MailChimp with Zapier. So first of all, we're going to do is come into here, create a new Zap. Now from here, I can't tell you specifically what you need to do because it's dependent on what you're trying to do, but there's, I'm going to give you a bit of a brief walk down, uh, run through. So let's say you get an order on your Shopify. So we can do Shopify. Boom. So Shopify, let's say new order continue you can connect to a Shopify or whatever so this is a trigger so when you get a new order in Shopify this is going to trigger this action to happen so you can go MailChimp so now these are the actions that MailChimp can happen add note to subscriber so this is a new to note to an existing subscriber add subscriber to tag add slash update subscriber create campaign create custom event create tag Remove subscriber tag, send campaign, unsubscribe email, API request. Now there's find campaign, find a subscriber, find customer, find tag. These are all of the actions that you can do for MailChimp. And you can also add another action here afterwards if you need to. Now, let's say you want to automate something from MailChimp to something else. In the trigger, you can go to MailChimp. So, MailChimp. So, if an email is open, then you can... If someone opens your email, then you can set it to do something in here. So send it to a spreadsheet. I don't know, whatever you want to do. Link clicked, new audience, new campaign, new customer, new subscriber, new order, new subscriber, new subscriber in segment, new unsubscriber. So whatever the trigger is in here, you can then put it into here. You can go whatever app you want, Discord. Let's say someone ups unsubscribes, you can put that into your Discord. Um, send a message to your discord i don't know why you'd want to do that but if that's one you'd want to do you can do that so basically the top is the trigger so this is the thing that triggers it this is the action that happens once you're ready you can publish it make sure everything's working good publish it turn it on and that's going to automate it so every time the trigger happens the action happens if you enjoyed this video and found it useful please like subscribe and comment down below that helped thank you for watching